Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Observer. And, well, we are stuck in that room, as you can see, and I already tried to, you know, to adjust the radio, and I think we have to adjust this one a little bit more. Like so. Getting it to the right point. Oh. All right. Wonderful. Thank you, Doctor. All right. There was something. Can we do anything here? No. And let's try that again. And nothing is happening. Um, come on. I'm not even sure whether we are doing the right thing or not. Well, this is a little complicated with the mouse, I have to say. Sorry for that. Um, to get it into the right direction why specialize in augmentation to go beyond our limits to realize our true potential to usher in a new era big words some would say it's all about improving the patient's quality of life so we need to think bigger than that our true goal should be to improve all of mankind each subject what I mean. Or were you being clever about my alleged lack of empathy? Okay. Whatever that is now. At least something's happening. This looks like a little tiny robot. Can we actually do here a little bit more? Then let's go on. I still can't do anything, so I guess we need to pull on the the controller there a little bit more. So let's go on. Um, what the hell is actually going on? All right, there's a new picture. Whatever that means, I am not too, too sure about. Still, we can't do anything here. At least the room changes when we pull on the level. Let's do a little bit more. And what happens if we turn it... Ah. Come on, get up here again. I am not sure what I am doing here. Come on, come on. So I hope we are going to... Yes, we are going definitely the right direction. Won't hurt anyone else. What the... I have no clue what the furniture is going, do, doing there. So now we have a... Ch that one right here. Still can't do anything. So let's pull it back, throw her back, right now, in that direction, and then again in the other, maybe then something is happening. Actually, I think it's quite annoying, it takes a little bit too long, I Hold think. It steady, God damn it. Okay, then we... What the hell is that? So here's at least... Some really weird experiment going on. 
So let's... Is this a brain? I don't know. Come on, what the hell is going on? So, the question at hand is, okay, this one is pulled off, can we pull it in again? And now look at that, we have a little robot there, or android or whatever that is, I guess it's a cyborg, because he seems to have some human parts there. So I guess we can now... Can we pull it... That one out now? And what happens if we... Put it into his stomach here? Um... That's not good. Is it? To be honest, I have really no clue. Information. It's rejecting the implants. What the hell? <laughs> I have no clue what is going on. So that one is destroyed. Something happened. Whoa, well, what the... There was a dude. Let them hold me down. I won't be forgotten. Bloody hell. And there is the this thingy again. Can we do anything there? Come on. I want to click it. I can't click it. Come on. But I can't reach it. At least it so seems. Can I do... Yes, there we have the clue. So we put it in right there, I hope. What? Guys, I... What a weird, weird game. Is this a no this? I th for one second thought that what was the janitor, but no. So I assume we... Just have to go on and stay calm. So we are now in a complete new world. I don't know whether that is a canned imagination, whether that is really happening. Oh my god. And what is that thing? So yeah, I forgot. This is a new session, so I forgot that we were in the mine what there. The Matriarch, give me the duration of the last sequence. You were connected for 16 minutes and 43 seconds real time. 16 minutes? Am I losing it? Already scanned. Focus down. Try to remember. Warning. Abnormal genetic structure detected. This blood doesn't match the victims. Calibrated trace. Calibrating now. Calibration complete. Trace established. Bingo. 
All right, at least we have a trace. What we should do for now is um, to synchronize here. Yes. Then we will. Synchronize <laughs> injected. Strain level decreased. Then we will take a look in the um, case log. The dream meter is starting to get to me. How do I not remember plugging in anyhow? Anyway, now that I'm back in the real world, I better check the apartment for clues. Track down the killer. The killer was f wounded in the struggle. He's leaving a trail. If I follow it, I might be able to finally get the bastard. And that is what we are going to try to do. Can we do anything here? So we take a little look into here, the mails. I'm gonna, you know, I would normally finish the episode right now, but let's go on a little bit and at least get to the mails here. So if you if you wanna skip that, you know, just the episode is going to end after that. Jack, I have always considered you a good friend and mentor. While your teaching methods were sometimes harsh, they also helped me improve as a surgeon. Let me therefore extend the same courtesy to you and be brutally frank. There's no way in hell your license could be reinstated. The accusations laid upon you by the consul are simply too grave. I used all of my influence to try and get a motion across, but they were simply not but even after all this time, you are still perceived as a paria and the patient's family aren't making things easier. Good God, Jack, what were you thinking? To install an untested prototype in a class A patient and for what? Even if you would have if you even if it would have worked, you would still most likely be facing accusations of malpractice. Whatever your motives were, I'm afraid you need to accept the consequences. You deserve all you get. I don't know if this match just reaches you, but if, but I hope to Christ it does. It took me a while to get a hold of your current address. We have never actually met, but your actions have forever changed my life. More precisely, they have turned it into a waking nightmare. Thus, I wanted to take this opportunity to show my appreciation. It's been close to two years since the only woman, uh, woman <laughs> I have ever loved had the unviolable distinction of being placed under your care. And although she has not and will not recover, her current doctor, an actual doctor, mind you, finally managed to stabilize her enough to make her semi-comfortable. Towards the, towards the end, he also installed a permanent feeding tube where her throat once was. She used to have the most beautiful voice. Not that you care. I have come to know that sociopaths are not moved by the plight of others, even if it's one of their own making. I was never one to harbor ill will or wish poorly upon others, but when I look at the hollow, deformed husk of what once my wife, what was once my wife, I am moved to thoughts and emotions I never thought possible. I have attached a photo to this message. I want you to take a long, hard look and know what that you did this. I want it to haunt you for the rest of your days. I want it to remind you that you're nothing but a butcher, a crack, a colors, empty has been. I don't know what hellhole you're scarred off into, but I hope you die there. And when you do, I hope you rot in hell. Okay. Hmm. It's showing again. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's showing from under the skin. I'm pretty sure it's showing from under the skin. The thing itches like hell and gets all messy. When I touch it, you have to do something. I can't show up to work like this. Contact me as soon as you get this message. Complications. Come on. I'm getting worried about the career. She doesn't seem to be taking the pressure well. She's irrational brown to boats of hysteri hysterics. I, I can be certain of the infallible nature of my software as well as your hardware, but the human element as always proves to be weakest, the weakest link. I wonder what would be more risky, to engage yet another third party or proceed as we are now. A PS, thank you for the painting, I'll put it up right away. I think I've just a spot for it. 
and use nothing, no data, no programs whatsoever. What I've said before, guys, sorry, if it, you know, if you are not the guy who, you know, likes to read stuff in games, then skip the sequence. I do that. I like to do that, to be honest. And that's a scene. If games give you the time, and that is just me, then I. Harsh pills. Not really trendy out here. If the game gives me the possibility to explore the rooms, you know, to go on, then I actually always do that. In some games, you know, you are a little bit in a rush, and there I would love to do that, but, you know, then I mostly. I am not able to do that. That's just it for me, guys. So we are th through with the room soonish. Oh, we have another picture here. I still run. Um, I'm still wondering if these guys are the developers. Could that be? I am honestly not really sure. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary here that we can't scan. Okay. Can't scan anything here that we actually probably already did. A snake headed cane. Probably the victims. Alright, that doesn't bring us any further, I guess. Alright, so the next moves, I guess, are going on there let's take a look quick look here Credit chips just like the one in Helen's apartment except these aren't empty. so I don't take it no that you should not do anything else here it does not seem so what is that no nothing all right anyhow I guess then we just have to follow the plot, which is nicely spread out here. And then that leads us to hopefully the next clues. Synchrosine refilled. Synchrosine refilled. So our synchrosine should be at max now. Yes, that's good. It's always nice. I'm. I don't know whether that has any relevance, but I'm afraid that we are going to run out of the little medicine. But anyhow, guys, that now brings us to the end of this episode. And as usual, you beautiful people, I really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And well, I will see you in the next episode. Until then. Have a nice day, stay frosty, bye.